I would just like to remind us what we're actually talking about here. Approximately 2,000 people have died just this year in the Mediterranean. And just to single out one example of a conflict, Syria has produced already more than 4 million refugees outside Syria, living in camps since four years in unbearable conditions. That is the situation we're talking about. And what do we do? We argue about 20,000 resettlement places, yes or no, about quotas, yes or no. And the only thing governments seem to be agreeing on is that they want to send the army out against smugglers, as if that would help. The only thing that helps against smugglers is to open safe and legal ways of entry for refugees. And Mr. Avramopoulos, you were rightly calling for that. But are we then going to stop at 20,000 resettlement places? Is that really all? I think we need to go far beyond that. And relocation. Yes, it's absolutely right to have now a crisis, a short-term mechanism, but we also should not stop there. We need to thoroughly reform Dublin, because if a system does not work when it's really needed, then it's high time to think about something else. Solidarity should not re remain an empty word here. We need solidarity among member states, but also with those people that are really in need of protection. And Mr. Timmerman said, also rightly, that we need to increase the acceptance. But I think for that, we need governments to really work for that acceptance, to argue for that acceptance, and not claim that people fleeing from war and persecution are a problem that you can send the army against, and that's going to be the solution to all of it. Thank you.